Alright, so you want to learn how to rip a VR chat avatar. So it's really simple, but it's going to be only able to rip PC avatars. So sadly, you cannot do the quest ones unless you convert it to quest yourself. But let's get this started off with the stuff that you need to download. So now you're going to need Unity Hub, which you just want to download right here and install it. How you would just install anything else. Then you're going to need one of two unities okay you can get 22 or you can get 2019 so personally 22 is better for worlds so i have to use that because my unity is actually corrupt with the 2019 version i don't know how don't ask me but you're gonna need 22.3.22 f1 so if you just want to go down here it's right here oh right is that the right one so once your Unity Hub is installed, it should just look like this. It won't have no project, it won't have nothing there. But you wanna click install. It's gonna say open with Unity Hub. And then it's gonna open up here. It's gonna say Windows SDKs for, um, I think it said main. And then it should options. And then the options should have Android SDK, which you're gonna need for the Quest version if you're planning on making it Quest. Same thing with 2019. But you're gonna need 2019 three two one. Let me see. 2019 four point three one. Okay, so it would be this one, and it would be the same way, same thing. But since I have to use 2022, it's just like that. Then you're gonna need Asset Ripper, which you can download it right here. Or you can use the one in the video. This is a newer version right here, but in my Discord server, which is BSA, since I sold the other one known as Audio Graveyard, which doesn't have anything else since I may or may not have deleted every single thing I posted in there, but it has a tons of assets. There's gonna be everything used in the video is gonna be posted in here in tutorials. Like here, here's a little thing for 2019, little tut, but it works. And then you're going to need to use FACS, which there's also going to be a link in the description. Yeah, it'll be right here. You can download this. It should be able to do 2019 and 2022. So, yeah. But then you want to start off with a new project, whatever Unity version you're using. And then name it you can just do whatever you want to name and then you want to click create project it's gonna open up a project slow or fast then you want to get your SDK that's another thing you're gonna need you can use you can use VR chat you can use anyone I think but I'm gonna be using where is it Bloodborne which you can pull it into there you can double click it or you can right click import package custom package and it's going to open up your file explorer and then it's going to import it that way which i already have it imported plus the facs if you want to learn how to do the toggles then you're going to need toggle assistant that's just how it is but i'm not going to show that because i am too lazy to describe that but i'm going to go into a server where i'm going to rip avatars I'm going to close that. I'm going to do Windows R. This is going to be in the description. Make sure you copy and paste that. You want to click OK. Then you want to go to Cache Window Player. Okay. I think glitched. Okay. Um, we want to highlight all of these. You can, um, I'm going to start from the top, actually. You can just click on any of these files and do the same thing that I'm about to show. But let's say, well, you can also clear your cache by just going to your settings and clear it. Which would be down here in debug. And then you want to clear local. Oh, no, this one. Clear local avatar data. But, uh, let's say I want to rip this guy's avatar, which is one of my homies. This is his avatar. I'm not ripping that. 
I need a better avatar that I can explain this with. Because there's multiple things. Dude. Oh my, I needed like an e-girl avatar to explain this. E-boy, give me something, bro. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to Black Hat. Okay, so we're just going to explain this again. <laughs> oh my god. So you want to import both of them. By the time, it should be done importing by the time, but you want to log in with your account, which I'm going to blur. I'm going to cut to a point where you won't be able to see the code or my Gmail. Okay, now that you got your code, you want to control V, verify. Then you're going to be logged into your account. Then you're done with Bloodborne for now or whatever SDK you're using. Let's find a random woman avatar. I'm going to actually turn on my audio so I don't. Let's see. Actually, let's see. This avatar, yes, this can work. Okay, so you want to go back to your files, then it's going to be right here. Once it fully loads, which your avatar is not. Yo, what is happening behind me? <laughs> okay, now it's almost done. It's still caching, so... I think it's done. Okay. You want to get your data file? <laughs> I'm going to go back to the home. <laughs> this is only able to rip the PC version. I think I said that in the beginning. I do not remember. You want to find the data file, control C, control V. And whatever, dot VRCA for VRChat avatar. I think that's how it stands for, who knows. Then you want to find your asset ripper, wherever, new, it, new one, old one. Then you just want to find wherever you put that at. If it has a um, EXE, you just want to get it, the VRCA, copy there. It's going to say this, it can delete your files sometimes, depends on the person. I've only seen it happen like four times, but it's going to pop up with this. I do not want to know what that red stuff was, but it's going to be exporting everything. So you can close your chat now. And you can just focus on the unity part. But, so the thing about these avatars is when they import, sometimes the shaders can break. And when the shaders break, then the avatar looks weird, doesn't look nice. So, yeah, you just want to give this a little bit of time, though. You can also double click on the EXE, and it's going to pop it up its own thing. Okay, see how it says this is done? Click enter or you can click the X. I'm clicking enter because it's easier. You no longer need this anymore. You can delete the VRCA. You can put it in a different folder. It doesn't matter. You can have done that in the beginning anyways, but eh. You want to go to ripped, export a project, assets. You want to get all of these. Scripts, you can delete that because it's going to collide with the SDK that you're using. Copy and then just throw it in there. Give it time to put it in there. But the shaders that you're using, there's like, there's hundreds, probably, there's going to be thousands of shaders posted in this channel. But he's already started on some of these. But we're going to just move them to a different um, whole different category and have its own stuff in there. But we're going to go into the shader since this is importing, I mean, yeah, into the server. And we're just going to talk about this a little bit. This is going to be one of the biggest servers out there with all a lot of VRChat assets, animations, shaders, VRC, FBXs. It's going to have models. 
particles. It's going to have tutorials and there's going to be useful websites in here too. Here's also some stuff right here. Like, let's just go into VR chat. It just gives you stuff that is W. I'm, I don't know how to explain it. It's just perfect. Look, like, it just explains a lot of stuff to you. It gives a lot of useful websites. It's also one of the biggest um, audio servers that's out there for, like, VR chat audios. It's got racist audios, yada, yada. It's one of the biggest audios servers. It's bigger than Audio Graveyard since I actually sold that one. Um, but someone, <coughs> maybe me, deleted everything that I posted. So it's pretty much cleared out. There's nothing in there. Except for the stuff that people post themselves. But this is one of the biggest audio servers, yeah. But see, here's the avatar. Okay, so it's just one to do this to me now. Great. Okay, never mind. It's already done. Here's your avatar. It looks weird, of course, like I was saying, but I put that right there. You want to remove component? Remove component. You want to type in VRC? Avatar descriptor. You want to put that in there. We're going to fix the eye first. Where's the eye at? Eyes all the way up there. You can name this whatever, by the way. Oh my. Click return. Detect the lip sync. Uh. Weird. Uh, I don't know what this is doing, Lucky. So I'm just gonna leave that how it is. I'm not worrying about that. Usually it will um go to blend shapes, and then you just want to connect them to the num the letters. This I don't know what this is. I'm I'm lost. But let's do this first. Actually, yeah. Okay, so. Since this is all the shaders are messed up, you want to find the shaders that are in here. Oh, I'm not importing all these shaders. I'm sorry. But only thing you would do, all these polynomies, there are all these hidden ones. You would just import, import, import it, which there should be um pros in there. So it's going to give you all of the ones but then you want to open up FACS, Repair Projects, Early Shader Reassignment. Then you want to go to Materials, Scan. And then after you import all your shaders into a different folder, all you do is you go down here, you find it in whatever it's in. This would be dot .moon, but I don't know where the dot .moon's at. Yeah, I'm at a loss where that one's at. But, um, where is it? Weird. See, this one is lit soon. And if you import, if you have it and it's already in there, it should be a secondary one under it. Then it should be good. Then you want to click re register undo. I mean, not, yeah, right? I think so. No, okay. So whatever you put in there, it should be apply shader. My bad. And then you want to click that, and then it's going to color this all back up to the original looks. And then that should be good. Your avatar should be looking better. But then now you have to work on fizz bones, which you can just do your chat fizz bones. Just to get a look at what they're all at. See, this is where all. I'm. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so you just go through these and let's say tail. I see this all has scripts on it. Oh yeah, I forgot. Repair projects, remove missing scripts. You want to pull this into there, scan 104 missing scripts. 
run fix. All the scripts are gone. That's what I'm meant to do first. That is on me. I do not know where the tail is at. It must be a toggle or something. But I don't see it, and I don't know. But we're just going to go to the hair, since that seems to be an easier one. Head. You want to find the hair bone, which should be hair root. Yeah, so then there's going to be another tut inside the server in the VRChat section. Let me close all this, please. Okay. It's going to be in here. I haven't posted it yet, but it's going to show you what you're going to have to do to make this look natural hair like how it is. Because, yeah, I don't know where I put that one at. But you would just have to find everything that has a root that would move in VRChat. So let's say if this had the tail and it was stiff inside the thing you would have to do the fizz bone to make it not but then yeah and after you do all that you go to control panel it should find your prefab name it whatever you want you don't have to do description you can do a capture from a scene or you can do a new thumbnail which is going to pop up your file explorer it should say all of this it doesn't matter click the information provided yeah then click and publish then if you want to publish it for quest I would copy this paste it make sure it has the same blueprint ID which is the ID for the avatar which is gonna say this the VR ch VRC oh it's gonna say this you're gonna copy that and then you want to name this one PC and then this one Quest, just so you know. Go to Control Panel. Go to the Android. It's going to boot this up. It's going to say something continue. And then it's going to continue. And then you're going to have to optimize it, which is the hard part. And I'm not going to show how to do that today. But yeah, that's pretty much how to do all this. It's simple. If you have any questions, please come into the server. Ask in general, I'll probably have a questions tab under VR chat later. But if you have anything, please ask in the server. And yeah.